a few days into October, and here are two surprising things about the Kansas City Chiefs. One, they're undefeated. And two, they've started an art collection. To help celebrate the team's 50 years in Kansas City, the Hunt family has introduced a program in which works by top flight regional artists are on display to the public at the stadium. We were so intrigued by the idea, in fact, that we've had our cameras at Arrowhead watching the progress for several months. During the design phase on the new Arrowhead, we talked about the possibility of doing this because we recognized that we were going to have some big open spaces, a lot of very large walls, and we didn't want to overdo it with uh, Chiefs-related theming. There's certainly some of that uh, on this level, but it gave us an opportunity to do something different. I think we recognize our limitations as a family, and I certainly have some siblings and my mother who have been great collectors of different uh, types of art, but because it was regionally focused, we recognize that we need to do add uh, some true experts. Experts like heavy hitters from the Nelson Atkins Kemper Museum, and the Kansas City Art Institute. They, along with some prominent gallery owners, patrons of the arts and arts administrators, all gathered at Arrowhead's Tower Club to join Clark and Sharon Hunt for the official preseason unveiling of the first 11 pieces selected by the committee. A filter for us is the scale of the works. There's a lot of great art that's done on a very small scale, which is not where our focus is at this point in time. We started with the largest commission spaces first. That ended up being a focal point for us. We were able to say we're, we're going for these large paintings on these walls. One of those big paintings came from the hands of Phil Epps. He agreed that stadium walls are an unusual but effective place to see his work displayed. Well, it's kind of neat to walk and, and see the stadium from just a, you know, a few yards away here and see that big expanse of space. And since my painting deals with space and all that, actually the, the, that stadium was sort of a visual uh, inspiration in some ways. I created a piece that is very, very easily understood and a, provided a, uh, a very unique perspective that we all don't normally appreciate from underneath the bridge. I was doing my best to give them the best painting ever and also reminding us where we are from. I've been a lifelong Kansas City Chiefs fan. My dad used to take me to the old stadium and uh, sit, sit out in the rain under ponchos. The idea came to me to create something like an abstracted football shape. It more or less works out that way. Originally, Dirk Van Keppel planned for his piece to be all red. But at Sharon's suggestion, he added some white for contrast. The artist likes the results. And seeing it reminds him that pretty as glass may be, creating with it is always its own kind of workout. The uh, part I see, the rough and tumble part of blowing the glass, it's hot, it's hard, it hurts, it burns, it can make you frustrated, but you gotta hang in there, you gotta endeavor. That was really one of the neat things about the process is so many of them had a story uh, that tied to the Chiefs. And it could have been their parents bringing them as a child or being a lifelong fan, or uh, one of the artists rode uh, uh, horses on this property before the stadium was built. That was part of what we were trying to capture. Uh, this is a program to celebrate the artists from the region. Uh, so I, I'm glad to know that we have a number of them who are Chiefs fans. Dan, speaking of Chiefs fans, with the arrival of the home opener, the general public got its first chance to potentially see what's been installed around and above them at Gallery Arrowhead. Some people might not notice it right away. It may take them a couple of games before they see it. We hope there'll, there'll be a lot of excitement, a lot of appreciation. I hope we do get suggestions. That would be terrific. Uh, we have a Hall of Honor downstairs where we remember the past great players of the Chiefs and a lot of the great moments in the, the team's history. And that's one of the things I really like best about game day is watching our fans experience that. And the art collection is going to be a lot like that as well. Clark Hunt may be a relative newcomer to owning a pro football franchise, but when it comes to answering questions about the art collection or which ones he might favor, Clark sounds like a veteran. The entire collection is my favorite. There, there are so many great pieces. 
I was talking to Julian about that issue and he said, you know, what I've noticed over time in my museum is my favorites change over time. As my perspective change, as uh, the pieces in the collection change and how they interplay with each other. There may be one that I, I like uh, this year, but it may not be uh, the same one that I like best next year. There will be more and more pieces joining the party out here. The process is expected to span several years, eventually delving further into assemblage and sculpture. After all, they have the room. We have acres, practically, upon which to put art. We have plaza space around the stadium to put sculptural elements in. This is a new direction. It's a new product that doesn't exist. And we're pretty excited about it, actually. Actually, we're pretty stoked. <laughs> The Hunt family appears to be ready to not only add an art collection to their stadium, but uh, the kind of quality team that Andy Reid can take to the Super Bowl. Go Chiefs! Go Chiefs! Chiefs!